So this last week, Mike, it was busy, if not, you know, a little crazy with things going on in our country. So I really appreciate that the weather department has uh, kept the forecast pretty mild, pretty steady for us. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a nice way for it to coincide. We didn't have to worry about any big storms and selfishly, after the December we had, Hannah, I'm okay with a little break. In the I weather. am, although I would, wouldn't mind a little bit more snow in the ground, if I I'm think, honest. I think we'll get our chance. Okay. Uh, I'll explain that coming up in a second, but uh, I don't think we're the only ones that are excited for some snow. Take a look at this picture that Katie sent in from Booth Bay Harbor. Snowy owl here, uh, super cool to see, and really not all that uncommon along the coastline this time of year. So. If you live anywhere near the shoreline and you want to get a glimpse of what, in my opinion, is one of the prettiest birds, just go spend some time outside. And with the weather that's coming, it's not going to be tough to spend time outside. I mean, especially for this time of year, just a really quiet stretch with temperatures running anywhere from 5 to 10 or so degrees above average. January snow f so far, we had a pretty complicated system just spinning off the coastline, but that has since gone away. We picked up total uh, just a couple of inches so far this month in Portland, closer to 10 inches in Bangor and about five in Caribou. Now, I think that these numbers are going to start to climb, but I don't know that we actually increase them at all over the next five to six days. Currently, we are quiet outside cloud cover breaking apart as we speak. Uh, interesting little signature that the radar is picking up. Maybe a little bit of a snow shower off the mid coast. I'll keep an eye on that. That'd be right off of Sagadahawk County. I don't know that we will see much of anything on the radar over the next few days, though, given the setup that we have. And we're starting to see the clouds clear out to our west, too. So tonight we'll have light wind out of the northwest, clearing skies, and the breeze will die down, which means the temperatures for most should end up in the teens inland to near 20 at the coastline. There's the cloud cover leaving. And as we get into the day tomorrow, we warm things up pretty quickly. Some 30s by 9 in the morning, expecting a lot of sunshine. And then by the afternoon, many of us top the day off in the mid to upper 30s and maybe a couple of spots near 40 degrees in southwestern Maine. Definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. And beyond this, not much else to talk about. There's the high pressure cresting overhead into Monday. And then this right here is indicative of some upper level energy. And that moves through on Tuesday. And maybe we end up with some uh, upslope snow showers or some flurries in the mountains as this passes. But the storm itself on Tuesday that we talked about stays to our south. And this has been the consistent signature. Let's fast forward to next Saturday. So this will be a week from today into the following Tuesday. We have two storm chances and the way that we pick this out, we're looking at the upper levels of the atmosphere here. These trough signatures here. So the first one passes through next weekend and then we've got a second one on the way for some time in the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. So those are going to be the big things to watch, but both of those features are seven to 10 days out, which means we've got almost a week of just quiet weather on the way. Seas three to five feet tomorrow. Northwest wind 15 to 20 knots, gusting to 30 knots. Seven day forecast inland. There it is. Maybe some mountain flurries, clouds thickening Thursday, and then I'm watching the chance for some showers on Friday out ahead of a storm on Saturday. Big maybe at this point. Similar idea at the coastline and notice temperatures. We've got more days forecast to be at 40 degrees than in the 30s. And Hannah, same idea. Maybe some showers on Friday if we can get the moisture here. Mm -hmm. And I'm still not buying that storm potential Saturday. We've got a week to figure that out, though, so we'll see how it all uh, comes into play. All right. Well, I got some new sweaters for Christmas, so I'm ready if it's uh, storm center time on Saturday. Get ready to test them out. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Mike.